Hello grade 10 students, mabuhay! So again, this is Lariam Del Rosario and for today's video, pag-uusapan natin ang uh, another topic sa circles. Okay? Yung tinatawag nating arc length, sectors, sections, or segments. Okay? So para mas maintindihan yung maigi kung about saan ba yung arc length, sectors, and segments or sections, hahatiin ko yung video na to sa tatlong parts. Okay. So, in this video, magkakaroon tayo ng short discussion and then after ng tatlong video, magkakaroon tayo ng mga um, worded problem or problem solving regarding arc length, sectors, and sections para mas madali yung maintindihan kung about saan ba yung mga topic na yun. Okay. Bago tayo mag-start, kailangan natin magkaroon ng review about circumference and area. Okay, what is a circumference? When we talk about circumference, this is the distance around the circle. Okay, yun lang yung circumference. And the formula for circumf circumference is C equals 2 pi R, where R stands for radius. Okay, since the radius is 7, papalitan lang natin yung R ng 7. And 2 times 7 is 14. And we retain pi. Okay? So, para hindi kayo mahirapan and you don't need to use calculator anymore, we are going to express our answer in terms of pi. That means, we are going to retain pi. Okay? By the way, uh, kung gusto nyo namang evaluate si pi, wala naman ding problema. So, you just simply multiply 14 by 3.1416. Okay? So, 2 times 7, 14 that is the formula for circumference since the radius is 7. Next is the area of a circle. Okay. Given that the radius is 9, yung area, ito yung uh, measure nung buong nasa loob ng circle. Kaya kung mapapansin nyo, shaded area niya yung buo and naka, kaya naka-red siya. Okay. And the formula for the area of a circle is A equals pi r squared, where r also stands for radius. Okay, given that the radius is 9, we're just going to simply square 9. And 9 times 9 is simply 81, and we retain pi. So A is equal to 81 pi. That is the formula for the area. Okay, yung unang topic na pag-uusapan natin ngayong araw is what we call arc length. Okay, arc length is somehow the same with circumference. Okay, ang pinagkaiba lang niya sa circumference ay part lang ng circle yung kinukuha na natin ng length. Hindi natin kinukuha yung buong length ng circle. Okay, so the length of arc AB, ito yung arc AB natin, represents a fractional part of the circle's circumference. Pag sinabing fractional part, uh, part lang siya nung uh, circle sa circumference. Okay? If the measure of arc AB is 90, obviously this, is me this measure is 90 degrees, then the length of arc AB is 90 over 360. Alam naman natin na ang distance around a circle is 360. Okay? So, in getting the fraction or ratio niya, since this measures 90, we have 90 over 360. 90 over 360. Okay, or simply 1 fourth. Pag kinuha, sinimplify natin yung 90 over 360, they are both divisible by 90, so we have 1 fourth of the circumference. Okay, after getting the, the uh, fraction, or the ratio, which is 1 fourth, we are going to get the circumference, which is equal to 2 pi r. Radius is equal to 6 units. So we have 2 pi 6, and 2 times 6 is 12. We retain phi, pi, so we have c equals 12 pi. Since we know that the uh, ratio is 90 over 360, which is equal to 1 fourth, then, the length of AB is equal to 1 fourth times, multiply mo lang siya sa circumference. And that is 12 times 1, which is 12. And 12 divided by 4, 
is 3 and we retain pi. So that is our answer. Okay, or simply the formula for the length of an arc is the measure of the arc over 360 times 2 pi r. Okay, another example. Okay, first thing, we are going to get the circumference. Okay, we all know that the radius is 8. So, 8 times 2 lang, we have 16 pi. So, the circumference is 16 pi. And then, we get the measure of the arc, which is 60 divided by 360. And they are both divisible by 60. Okay, 60 divided by 60 is 1. 360 divided by 60 is 6. So, the ratio is 1, 6. Multiply natin doon sa circumference ni circle. And that is 16 pi. So, 16 pi divided by 6 is simply... And they are not... Uh, 16 is not divisible by 6. So, kunin na lang natin yung lowest term niya. And they are both divisible by 2. So, 16 divided by 2 is 8 pi. 6 divided by 2 is 3. So, that is our final answer. Okay, so that's all for today. You wait for the next video which tackles uh, area of a sector and the area of a section or segment. Okay. Do not forget to subscribe on my channel and thank you for watching.